Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be taking a look at EDC fixed blades based on their concealability, how easy they are to carry, and the utility I get out of them. So we'll rank them kind of from 10 back to 1. And these are just what are currently in my collection and how they kind of all assess right now so again leave comments if you disagree but i've tried to look at them the way they they suit my carry and i want to real quickly before i start thank all the channel members thank you all so much i appreciate you more than you know also want to welcome anybody that's just here to watch the content you humble me and i'm stoked that you're here if you like the content and you'd like to be notified and help the channel please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon next to it It'll let YouTube know that you're interested in EDC content. And then finally, if you're over on Instagram and you guys spend any time over there and you'd like to connect over on that platform, I'm at jevans underscore knife attic underscore life, just like here. So getting started, these are 10 EDC fixed blades. When I first started chasing EDC fixed blades, I originally wanted something very small, very... Um, concealable, easy to carry, whether I carried it in a back pocket, whether I carried it inside my waistband, whether I carried it with straps kind of around my appendix or even around my neck. Several of these knives are carried different ways, but the common denominator is they all take up very little space. They're all concealable. And the first one on the list or number 10 is the SE Candura. The SE Candura is a fantastic little tool steel knife. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's Essie's smallest model, but it has a really nice, generous um, G10 handle that gives you a full purchase there. Um, made in the USA, very slicey. I guess we could break out the receipt from earlier. And we'll just make sure they all cut. So, the Essie Candura is a great little knife, comes in well under $100, so it's not going to put you out an arm or a leg. It's very robust. It's got jimping on the spine. The blade and the tang are treated. Um, the tool steel is treated, so I don't think corrosion is going to be an issue. It's very sharp, and it's very easy to keep sharp in the field. Um, feels real good in hand. Um, even in a reverse grip, it feels fine. So I think if... Uh, situation came up and you need to rescue your slurpee uh, this would be a good knife the sheath is a plastic sheath not kydex but it works very well um, you do have this extra back plate that has a belt clip that i can use either to hook in my back pocket or hook inside my waistband or hook it on my belt or if i want to i can take some allen wrenches or just a phillips head screwdriver take that back plate off I can put an ulti clip on it. I can carry it like a neck knife. But bottom line is, it's very concealable and it's very up to the challenge of, of my EDC. So number 10 is the SE Kinder. As we move along, we will come to a fantastic USA made knife, a custom knife maker, Joey Roman. And this is the Joey Roman Lil Tanto, if I'm not mistaken. This is a small little um, chisel grind knife that is a wicked, wicked tanto, super sharp, has a hollow chisel down here on the flat. It's got a flat, thicker chisel up here on the front. It's got a very distinctive point where they come together. It's got beautiful micarta handles and a little lanyard there. It is very slicey, both on the regular grind. Whoops. I'm going to jack it up. It's much slicier than I am uh, showing it to be. That's me looking through the camera. But I can assure you it is very slicey. It's very tanto-y. It is uh, a great little knife. It's a bruiser. I've used this knife to do some, what I would consider hard work for a little knife. The sheath is absolutely perfect. The retention on this is dynamite. This is one that I do carry appendix style. These are IWB 
uh, bands or straps that I get from um, these particular ones come from Amazon. And I wear this right on my appendix by my belt buckle. And it's right there. has a great thumb uh, slot to get the sheath out or get the knife out of the sheath. Um, very comfortable in the hand. The micarta handles are very soft. And you can put some power behind this little knife. I think it's a great knife. And it comes in at number nine. So moving on, we come to a little knife maker over in Lithuania, Polyus. And he makes, he's the uh, CEO owner of Baltic Blades. And he makes this little EDC scalpel called the um, Angus, A-N-G-I-S. Not exactly sure how that's pronounced. This is not, of course, the sliciest when it comes to slicing stuff, even though it will cut and slice. But what it is, it's a package opening machine. It is a piercer. It is a stabber. It is a slurpy saver. It takes up absolutely zero space on your person when you carry it so when you go to carry this knife you will not know it's there a lot of people carry this knife polya says is a neck knife or you can carry it in your pocket with the little included kydex sheath i carry it with a single iwb strap and i carry it right at my appendix where i carry these small knives that's the way it's right there it is a very handy little scalpel that i use much more then my modern folder or my slip joint to open packages to just really handle the EDC things that I normally cut in my urban EDC environment. It is a great little knife. And this is the Baltic Blades Angus, and it is made over in Lithuania. So moving on, we come to a knife that I actually have two of here to show you guys because there are two ways to carry it. This is the MKM Micro, and this is the Micro 1, and this is the sheet that it comes with. This is the Micro 2, and these are, one of them is a drop point, and the other is a sheep's foot. Both of them come standard from MKM, little pieces of M390, with this little leather sheath that works great. It comes with a chain, so you can wear it as a neck knife. When I carry this knife in this particular sheath, because I've got carry kits, which these are for both of them, but I carry this one in its leather sheath and I just drop it in my back pocket. So it is an absolute pocket dropper. If I want to, I can take this, put it in my back pocket, and then flap that over the hem of my pants, and then I've got it in my back pocket and I can pull it out. So it will carry open inside your pocket. So these little sheaths, whether you want full retention, you want to drop it in your pocket, or if you want it to lip over your pocket and lock on, it'll do either or there. Or you can invest another 40 bucks and you can get this little Kydex carry kit that comes with two leather straps. I carry this one, as you guys might imagine, on my appendix because it takes up absolutely no room. It also comes with a factory ulti-clip that is an actual ulti-clip shorty. And it comes with a titanium chain so that you can either carry this by the neck, by these straps, or by an ulti clip. These little knives are absolutely perfectly balanced. They are Jesper Voxnez designed, so they are ergonomically pleasing. They are very easy to hold. They take up very little room, but you can get a good grip. And they are small, probably the most concealable, one of the most concealable in either carry configuration, the standard or the little Kydex carry companion, one of the most uh, sealable knives in my collection. So this is the MKM from Italy, NM390, Micro 2 and Micro 1. And they come in at number six, I think. Number five, we come to a great little knife that's a newer knife in my collection, and it's one that I wear as a neck knife. This is the Amsler Tools Hurricane Razor, and this has got the 80s finish on it. This is a little, this is the Mini, the 2049. They also make this several other sizes to where it'll come up to be a full size, about the size of a pen. I like the Mini because it fits my hand perfectly. It's just a little chunk of MagnaCut. 
it comes with these o-rings and extra o-rings in case you want to have the o-rings run up the entire length of the uh the uh, knife if you're going to carry it in your pocket like a dress shirt the pocket clip works very well or if you want to carry it in your pocket what i'm probably going to do is it comes with a tool which is just a uh, torx to take the pocket clip off this little titanium pocket clip off and add a few more rings because i wear this as a neck knife and then i think it'll just be ergonomically even that much better but it is again m390 or not m39 yes uh, magna cut it's magna cut it is very sharp it's called a hurricane razor both blades are very sharp and it's got the best part of the tanto it's pierciness and it's cuttiness but um this little guy is heat treated at 64.65 of those heat treat and it is made by Amsler tools over on instagram and it's just a great little carry box opener uh slurpy thieving deterrent um rope cutter anything you really need to cut in a day right if your primary knife's not needed and your slip joint won't get it done the little fixed blade that i find very concealable because i carry it under my shirt on that titanium chain is the amsler tools hurricane razor mini and the number is the 2049 perfect little kydex sheath there's one of these right now on nas sale the full size and if you don't grab it soon i'll probably end up getting it but coming in at number five we have another small little package which is the reason i picked up this knife i love the way that this sheath is contained um, and set up as an actual pocket dropper so when i carry this knife it goes in my back right pocket or it goes in my left pocket and clips in like that um, you can put a lanyard on it and when i get some paracord i will probably add a lanyard to this but it is a little M390. This is a hella or superlative hella. It is a little chunk of M390, full tank construction that does have these carbon fiber, um, Mars carbon fiber inserts that give you a little thickness off of that frame because they also make this naked without any carbon fiber or you can get it black with uh, black micarta insets. But this is just a little chunk of m390 it is very small very similar to the micro one and the micro two more similar to the micro two because of the blade style but it's very slicey and it's very able it's not as pokey as some of the other knives it does have that sheet foot and it does have a tip so it will you know grab and bite and you could definitely use it for self-defense but it's more of a little worker and it fits the hand great doesn't take up much room um, in the hand and it really doesn't take up much room in the pocket it goes in and out of the sheath very very well um, it's just a great little knife so when i've got it in my pocket in my back pocket that's why i think a lanyard would make it easier to draw if it just had a short lanyard coming off of it but so far i just reach back and grab it and it is just a great little knife the superlative hella is hella um concealable the one thing that you are limited to here is the different ways to carry it so unless you get a custom sheath made or modify this sheath you're really stuck with the pocket clip but it works fine for many different ways to carry it on on your body and works great for me so i like the superlative hella it comes in right at number five moving to number four is another neck knife and before you guys lecture me, I know I should not have a leather choke me cord on it, but I do because I like it. And I've got something else that I carry that will pretty much assure I don't get choked. But this is the Jason Grant. This is a J-Cal. This is a small J-Cal coming in here at number four. Um, and this is a little bruiser of a knife that is super thick, that has amazing chamfered sculpted ultim handles it's got a wicked little hollow grind super sharp super thick super pokey tip great in a reverse grip i mean just a great neck knife this knife is both a package destroyer it is an absolute 
cutter, if you're cutting rope, if you're cutting wood, if you're cutting big weeds, whatever you're cutting, this is a good little cutter. It's a mini chopper for all practical purposes. Um, and it just works really well from utility knife, you name it. I love, love, love the J-Cal. It should really rate higher because sentimentally, these J-Cals are definitely my number ones, but it comes in in terms of the small concealability here at number four. Great knife. I love this knife. DM Jason Grant. If you'd like to get a J-Cal, you can get them bigger than this. You can get them this size. I've got some that are bigger. This is the smallest. I call it my little uh, urban pick. Now I love it. That's the J-Cal coming in at number four. At number three, we have a knife by Tyler Denny. Denson, D. Denny. No, T. Denny. Tyler Denny. Um, T. Denny Designs. And this is The Apprentice. This knife, when I first saw it and was told about it, I thought it was super, super cool. It is hella thin MagnaCut. Comes all the way back. Full tank construction with this nice acid wash. It's got what's called this vintage micarta, this vintage caramel micarta, which to me it looks more like caramel than it does micarta. But when I look at a small fixed blade and look at the way that these swedges are done, at the way that these uh, plunge grinds are done, this little knife is an absolute slicing machine. It has got the most neutral grip that gives me all four fingers and it gives me a poon to brace my thumb on if I have to use it as a poker. But if I use it as a slicer, it doesn't even make noise. If I'm cutting through boxes or I'm cutting into packages or I'm cutting into whatever I need to cut into. So the, uh, the T. Denny Apprentice is a fantastic knife and one that I can highly recommend, like any of these small concealable knives. And the way I carry this one is the way I carried the first several knives. Um, I typically will carry it with an ulti clip in my back right pocket, hooked over my hem. So then when I go back to pull it, I just put my finger right here. I pull the knife out of the sheath and I've got it. This stays clipped to my pants. It's easy to read sheath. Kydex has absolutely no rattle. I think it's a gorgeous, sexy, mean looking little street knife. And I think what he's done, T. Denny has done with the apprentices are fantastic. This will not be the last one I get. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll ch check Instagram after this, uh, this video and just see what he's got going on. But anyway, this is the T. Denny apprentice. It's gonna come in right at number three. So number two is, what can I say? It's a fantastic knife, guys. One of my absolute favorites. I like this knife so much that I've got three variations. I carry them all the same way, appendix style, right by my belt buckle. Um, they are very concealable. They are not great if you're tucking your shirt in and going to the office, but any other time with an untucked shirt, they carry fantastic. So I've got one in G10 and Magna Cut, three-quarter grind, and then 20 CV with my Carta, three-quarter grind, and then a complete flat in S90V satin with my Carta. I actually added the my Carta. So all of them are set up to be carried the same way. All of them have custom Kydex sheaths that they come with. So you get fantastic retention and you get an amazing little cutting tool. These little guys are robust, they're stabby, they've got a thick blade, full tang construction, really comfortable three finger grip. And I find that when I'm carrying these as my uh, secondary or third carry, um, they are used quite often. And I'm stoked that I've got and been able to collect three and warning to myself, I'm kind of chasing blade steals at this point with these guys. Which brings us to number one, guys. And this was a tough one because um, the chickadee and this really are neck and neck. This is the T-Kel Piranha. I just did a video that released yesterday when I'm recording this um, or this morning when I'm recording this. And I'd done a side-by-side -side comparison with T-Kel and the chickadee. 
and I was surprised at how they came out. I used lefty scoring system, kind of modified, and went down and gave each one a point. I'll go back and watch that video. But this little T-Kill Piranha is just a little bit larger than the Chickadee, not really as much in blade, but just in that tang, um, that choil there, and in the handle. And then this G10 handle is really sculpted to give you a fantastic grip and still have access to that blade. So when you look at cutting edge, it's just exactly like the Chickadee. Um, but it's got this nice little swedge going on. You can get a good defense grip on it if you need to. Um, it is just an absolute banger. Made in the USA like the Chickadee is, um, like the Apprentice is, like the Amsler is. Those are all made in America. I don't know if I pointed that out. Um, MKMs are made in Italy, and the TKLs are made over in Georgia. And this little knife has been an absolute joy. It's got uh, very faint uh, CNC lines from where this was milled. Um, it has a nitron boride, or nitron boride, I think that's what it's called, uh, coating, which is the same thing they put on PPUs to uh, keep them from degrading bolt assemblies and things like that. Looks like it's stonewashed, but it's not. That's just an extra protective coating that coats that entire blade and tang. Really fascinating heat treating process you can read about on TKL's website. But this little knife has really blown me away, and I love it. I love the fact that Tim created custom hardware to keep his scales on. I love the fact that he's gone through several renditions of this, taking feedback from people to kind of modify it to what his users that are mostly more tactical than me, who's more of an EDC guy, but this is a perfect knife for my EDC and for my daily. So guys, that is how they roll. We've got the TKL Piranha. We've got the Jacob Creates Chickadee. We have got the T. Denny Apprentice. These aren't going to be in order, guys. We've got the Jason Grant J. Cal. We have got the MKM Micra. We have got the Amsler Tools Hurricane Mini Razor. We have got the Hella, Superlative Hella, and M390. We have got the Baltic Blades. Angus. We have Joey Ramones. Tonto. And finally, we have our Essie Candura. So guys, those are my 10 most concealable carried EDC knives in the fixed blade variety. And I appreciate you watching the video. I ask like I always do, that just please in your daily goings and comings and comings and goings that you look out for the guy and girl to your left, look out for the guy or girl to your right, look out for each other, go forward with love in your heart, choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.